Hey, hey guys. Okay, so what is fixing to go down here is a little experiment. So I am going to do an experiment between thieves and other cleaning um, products. Okay, so I bought the kit that contains the Petri dishes with the agar already on it. The kit comes with the um, cotton swabs, okay, it comes with the directions on how to do it. And so what I've already done is, let me just show you real quick is there's nothing in here except the agar that's already in the petri dishes so all i did was place them in a pan as you can see okay and then i labeled them so for this experiment i chose just a few items so this one you always have to have a control group which means nothing is going to go in here except whatever i swab with the swabs no cleaner, no cleaners whatsoever will go in the control group, okay? Um, I have one that says Clorox disinfecting wipes, Lysol disinfecting wipes. I'm going to try the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak. Yes. The Young Living Thieves Cleaner, Young Living Oregano Essential Oil, Young Living Thieves Essential Oil, Bleach, and since I had the odd man out right here, I'm actually going to try one with Young Living's Tea Tree Essential Oil and the Thieves Mouthwash. Yes, I'm going to do it a little different. I've got to be a little different. So, I am going to go and swab um, the bottom of my son's work boots. Um, I would do my husband's, but he's not here right now. And I'm also going to swab um, the toilets in my house. I have two toilets, so I'm going to go swab them as well. And actually, the directions actually give you some other ideas that you can go swab. But um, I am just going to stick to those two right now. Um, I have not cleaned um, the guest bathroom in quite some time because uh, it's hardly ever used. So I think that, that bathroom will be the most dirtiest, that toilet anyway. And um, of course my son's, um, the bottom of my son's shoes, which he works out um, in the field of pest control. So, also, um, you're gonna need a paper towel, which you need to cut into little bitty strips like this because this is what we're going to put the other cleaning items on, which is gonna be put into the Petri dish. So I've already done that to save time. Um, I labeled everything with a black marker, scissors to cut the paper towels, um, and I have all of my items here. So let me go run and swab the bottom of the shoes and the toilets, and I will be right back. Okay. So I'm back. I just swapped the bottom of his boots and also the toilet area in the guest bathroom. Uh, the directions say to open this up and dip it in some um, bottled water, which I had here in the cup. So I just dipped it in the bottled water. And so you can see there on the swabs. And so now I will start to rub it. Let me see if I can tilt my camera down or maybe move this on these. So I'll start with the control and just give it a nice little rub. switch out. I did both, um, two, two Q-tips come in one package, so I used both of them to um, rub the shoes and the commode. And then the directions just simply tell you to rub it across the agar that's in the Petri dish. Okay. Now, 
let me dispose of these properly and I'll be back again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna put gloves on because I don't want to touch um, certain products because they are an endocrine disruptor and they are carcinogen um, and they cause respiratory issues and all kind of stuff. And it, if you read the labels, um, I'm, I'm not gonna read it to you, but if you read the labels on some of these items, it tells you exactly what it does to your system and that you should call it called poison control. So the gloves are on just because I don't want to come in contact with some of the products. Okay, so my control one is right here and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my control out and just place it right here because um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous about contaminating it. So um, now that it's out of my way. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is the one that's labeled bleach. So I'm just gonna take the lid off and I have a little bowl here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the products over the piece of paper towel, like so, over the bowl, and then I'm gonna place it in the Petri dish, okay? That's how that is going to work. So I'll start off first with Clorox and I should have probably put my mask on, but that's okay. That is strong, okay? And then in the Petri dish, it goes, and then I'm gonna cover it back up, okay? And so I'm gonna do that in between each and every one of them, okay? Um, oh, let me co cover this baby back up. Do research on Clorox too, by the way. All right, um, Thieves Essential Oil is next. The actual essential oil is next. That one smells delicious, it smells like Christmas. All right, next let's do the Clorox Disinfecting Wipes, which is this green one right here, which I actually just have to cut a piece of this one off. Because it's already, all right. Clorox disinfecting wipes. It's going right in that Petri dish with that lid. And I did get that one all over my hand, thank God for gloves. All right, I'll move on to the Lysol disinfecting wipe. I'll move this Clorox one up here. Next we have Lysol. Same with this. I will just cut a piece about the same size as the ones from the paper towels. Put that baby in there. Actually, let me press it down a little bit. It's not all the way down. There we go. Okay. All right. Up next is the Young Living Oregano Essential Oil. So that one will have to be done on a paper towel. Here is the oregano right here. And you really do need to look up the properties of oregano, antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, that's why they feed it to um, chickens. They put it in chicken water. So do your research on oregano. I use a, a lot of oregano in a lot of different ways, a variety of ways. I even um, cook with it, the um, oregano by 
vitality. All right, next let's do the Thieves Veggie and Fruit Soak. This one's a little different, but. Okay, so with the Thieves Fred Veggie and Fruit Soak, I'm just gonna take the lid off. Going to get my paper towel here, making sure you guys can still see me. And this is Thieves Veggie and Fruit Soak, and I actually wash every single fruit and vegetable that comes in my house with this. I do. Even the ones that have skin, like oranges. And we're going to place that baby right there. And dry that off. Okay, up next is Young Living's Thieves Cleaner. Uh, which is right here. Grab another paper towel. And I'm really making sure that I am soaking these paper towels through and through, y'all. And the thieves cleaner goes right in that one. And last but not least, I am going to attempt, this is my special one, Young Living's Tea Tree Essential Oil and Thieves Mouthwash. So, I'm going to put the Tea Tree Essential Oil on the left, exactly how I have it marked on the top of the Petri dish, okay? And then I'm going to put the mouthwash on the bottom. Do you research on Tea Tree too, y'all? Lots of yummy goodness with tea tree. Okay, so I will place that one on this side. And where's my mouthwash? Right here. I even have it labeled for when people come over that this is concentrated. They're willing to try it. I have little shot glasses in the guest bathroom, but just to let them know that it's concentrated because a lot of people like to dilute theirs um, because Young Living products um, are very stretchable. Very, very stretchable. And you can actually get like four and five bottles of mouthwash just out of this one. And so very carefully, I'll place this one on this side. Okay, now let me clean this area up and I will be right back. Okay, so now that um, they all have um, the bacteria from the boots and the toilet. I am now going to add the control back because I was nervous about um, <laughs> just mixing it up. So I will add that back, okay? And now they have to kind of bake or cook, let's say. Um, I've heard anywhere between two days to a week. So um, what I will do is I will, I will just check on these daily. Let's see if you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. I will just check on these daily. I am going to cover it with saran wrap because um, they say um, it grows faster in the heat. Um, of course, my house is not hot. But um, I will keep this in the kitchen area because the kitchen area is usually the hottest part of people's houses because we're always cooking, we're always using the oven, blah, 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 right? Okay, so now these little precious babies are going to bake, cook, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then... In a couple of days, I will check back on these and and maybe I can show you the growth like like a daily growth, you know, like every two or three days, just hop back on and show you guys um, maybe how the bacteria, the yucky stuff is growing, okay? All right, so these are the items that I used and so we're gonna see how this test goes. All right, guys. I will be back 
here very soon for you but for me it will be probably close to a week but anyway I'll be seeing you back here okay guys it has been roughly 72 hours since I've done this and every day I have taken a little peek and every day they have gotten worse and worse and so I'm not going to go the full seven days because it's so gross I just can't so um, I brought my tweezers just in case for some reason I need them I don't know I have two towels right here I don't know what I'm gonna need because this is the first time I'm doing this experiment and I know it's gonna be hard to see so I tried to bring in some colors that um, will contrast the petri dishes but I will tell you I am gonna put on a pair of gloves for this um, I will take the lid off of them quickly, but I'm going to put the lid back on them um, because I don't want that junk in my house, okay? And I'm going to put on a fresh mask because I really don't want to be breathing it in. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. I will start with the control. Remember the control was the one where nothing was on it, no chemicals whatsoever. So I'll hold it up. <laughs> Maybe behind that wall. Oh my God, y'all, so gross, so gross. Here it is without the lid. All right. And remember, this was just a shoe and the toilet. All right, um, let's just go in order. All right, this one is the Clorox disinfecting wipe. Let me see if I can get, get a little closer. Hold on guys, let me see if I can pull the camera a little bit closer perhaps. Let's see. Okay, this is the Clorox disinfecting wipes. Oh my God. Y'all, I have no words. This is so disgusting. Um, this is the back of it. Um, if you look real close right here, you can see that there's some starting to creep under the corners of the wipes. And remember, these wipes were the ones that I cut directly out of the container. All right, Lysol disinfecting wipes. Oh gosh. Okay. Eh, I don't see too too much behind this one except right here in the corner maybe. But all that growth and bacteria around it is and close to it. I mean that's kind of scary being close to it. Okay, here's the bleach. The bleach, um, actually has um, um, condensation inside the lid and they did say in the directions that, that would, that's okay that sometimes that happens because depending on heat or whatever temperatures that that does happen but these were all the same and so far one two three four five six seven eight I don't see it on any more but um, this one has the condensation Okay, and this is the bleach. So all that yuck stuff still grew, and I bet if I left it a little more, you could see, I'm gonna put this back on because this makes me nervous. Well, I can't because then you can't see. But if you look closely, it looks like it's starting to spread toward the Clorox um, wipey. Not a wipey, but this is the one I drenched in bleach. There we go. You can, I can see it on the camera now. Here's the back of it. Oh, Y'all, it's frightening. Bleach. Okay. And the only thing I can think of with the condensation is I do know that mold does breed, I mean, bleach does breed mold. So maybe the start of mold, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Wild Thieves Cleaner. 
Not as much bacteria on that one. Woo-hoo-hoo! And nothing around the um, part that I drenched in the thieves cleaner. It's only around the very edges. Y'all see that? So cool. So compared to the Clorox disinfecting wipes, there's your thieves. I'm gonna cover this up. Okay, uh, YL Oregano Essential Oil, here you go. Y'all, there's like nothing in this Petri dish except on the outer edges, far away from the original spot that the uh, Oregano Essential Oil was. Y'all, that is mind blowing right there. Here's the back of it. Hardly anything. So y'all know I have to do exper experiments to prove to myself, because even though other people do it, I still have to do it myself to prove to myself. Okay, YL Thieves Essential Oil. Okay, this is where the I put the essential oil. You can see that the bacteria started to grow away from the Thieves Essential Oil. Again, not a drop or anything on this side at all. Amazing! Here's the back. So nothing growing up underneath the towel. And not as much bacteria as, how about Lysol disinfecting wipes, right? Y'all, this is just blowing my mind. I was really nervous about doing this. Not nervous about the Thieves products, but nervous about the other products that our companies are required to use. Okay, the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Spray Soap was just an experiment that I wanted to do. So here is all the yuck. Okay, I'll take the lid off. And as you can see, where the fruit and veggie soap was, there are no, there's no bacteria at all. Let's, let's check the back out. Nothing in the back. Y'all, there's a little something funky growing there for sure. Yuck. But again, nothing around it. This is just amazing. And again, it is still not as bad as this Clorox disinfecting wipe. I mean, I, I just can't get over this. Okay, and the last one was just um, something I decided to do. It was the YL Tea Tree Essential Oil and the Thieves Mouthwash. So here's that right there. And you guessed it, there's not much bacteria at all in this entire Petri dish. So I'll flip it this way. So this side is the actual tea tree oil, and then this side is the Thieves mouthwash. So I'll take the lid off. And there you have it. Mind blowing. Y'all, I just can't get over this. I'm totally excited that the, I did, decided to do this experiment. So the very worst one, of course, was the control. That was the very worst one. Okay. I would have to say the second worst was the Clorox disinfecting wipes. Okay. Then I would have to say the Lysol disinfecting wipes. Let me put these back on this pan because all of this is going to be disposed of correctly. Um, the bleach surpri is surprising me, but um, I have a feeling that there's a lot more growth that's gonna come from this if I were to leave it, but I'm not, because I'm not, because number one, this one has a smell to it. Just so you know. When I opened it, I was like, oh no, that's why I'm grabbing my mask. <laughs> um, this one has a smell to it, and the bacteria you can see is starting to get closer and closer. So if I left this, it probably would grow mold, more yucky stuff in it. So, thieves for the win, over-the-counter products, no bueno. No bueno. Okay, guys. Thank y'all for um, 
hopping in on the experiment with me. I totally enjoy doing it. Um, these products are chemical free, carcinogen free, fragrance free, and paraben free, and all that stuff. And don't forget this over the counter item, they are full of endocrine disruptors and carcinogens. So I will post a picture of all this grossness. I'll add it to the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, so one last look at our project that we did. I'm gonna flip the camera over for y'all so that you can see what's in the Petri dishes up close. Okay, so Control, Lysol, Clorox, Leach. Okay, then we have down here, I hope you can see this on the screen towel, the YL Thieves Cleaner here, the YL Thieves Essential Oil here, and that, by the way, is just a drop of the essential oil um, that when I went to lay that down, it dripped off. And so while moving this, it kind of have slid down. So that is the essential oil itself right here. <clears throat> this one is the oregano essential oil. Okay. This one is the YL tea tree on this side. And then the thieves mouthwash on this side, which was just something that I wanted to do. And then down here, the last one we have is the fruit and veggie soak. So every place that um, the Young Living products actually touched, um, the bacteria did not grow. I cannot say the same for some of these other ones up here. So there you have it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me comments and let me know if you have any questions about the experiment. Thank you.